Okay. A thought just entered my mind as I was chopping away there. And it was a thought that I recognized was the inner judge in me. And I don't mind admitting this. Hello, bird. Little Robin. So this inner judge is something that we all have. It's a saboteur psychology. And, and mine just went off there in a wander of thoughts. And I don't mind admitting it was a thought around another parent. And I knew instantly it was my judging character that had appeared. The funny thing is now, now that I'm aware of these characters that can appear, um, I can see them off at the past very quickly. And so can you too. The trick is to understand which saboteur psychologies you have. And like I said, we all have the judge, and that's either a judge that is judging somebody else, or a judge that is judging ourselves. You know, berating ourselves for the things that we haven't done, etc. What that character now does for me is reminds me to check in with myself and to figure out, okay, why has that psychology suddenly appeared? And it will undoubtedly be because of stresses elsewhere, problems elsewhere. So this video really is a reminder that we've all got these characters, these saboteur psychologies that will appear under given stimuli. Parents will have more than any other and parents often find themselves in this um, uh, state of judging, state of judging others and themselves, in fact. And the only thing I would say is remind yourself when, when you do have that negative statement that will appear, um, possibly judging others, possibly judging yourself, just remind yourself that that's an indicator of where your current psychology is. And there's probably something that you need to deal with, fix, uh, something you need to reflect upon. So start thinking now, whenever you get those negative loop patterns, assess what sort of character is creating that. And in fact, you can go onto the positiveintelligence.com uh, website and run a little test, it's only five minutes, and it will tell you typically which of the main saboteur psychologies are the ones that uh, govern your life. Once you know them, you can become aware of them. Once you become aware of them, you can then adopt a mindful practice as soon as they appear and then possibly reflect on why they're there. And uh, you won't ever be able to get rid of them all. They will always be there. But there are ways of dampening the response and uh, dampening their frequency. That's me, Dave Florence, signing off. Thank you for watching. And I should add now, if you want help with your psychology, if you want help with your routine, if you want help finding energy, if you want help bringing back that old 20, 30 year old you again, then hook me up below on the website daveflorence.com. Uh, I run one-to-one -one sessions and these sessions will be a combination of mindful, meditative movement, breath work, uh, and a whole variety of other practices that will uh, ensure that your life runs a little smoother than it might at the moment. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.